All right, let's take a look at the sine and cosine of complementary angles. And if you haven't already, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And also, while you're at it, go ahead and click the bell to be notified when I post new content. So let's get into the lesson. In general, the sine of an acute angle is equal to the cosine of the complement of that angle. So those two angles together equal 90 degrees because they are complements of each other. And also, the sine of angle A is equal to the cosine of angle B. And the cosine of angle A is equal to the sine of angle B. And this is referring to the two acute angles um, in a right triangle. And the trigonometric function of the complement of an angle is called the co-function. So the sine and cosines of an angle are co-functions of each other. So let's look at this first example here. We want to find the sine and cosine of the acute angles in this right triangle right here. So let's start with um, the sine and cosine of angle A. Remember, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so we're looking at angle A. The opposite side uh, for angle A would be 6, and the hypotenuse of this triangle is 10. Remember, the hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle. And I'm just going to reduce the fraction here. That reduces to 3 fifths. And let's see the adjacent, um, I'm sorry, the cosine of angle A. So that is adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent side would be 8 or next to. And again, the hypotenuse is 10, reducing that to 4 fifths. So just reducing those fractions there. Now, let's look at the sine of angle B. Angle B is here. Opposite is 8. Hypotenuse is 10. That reduces to 4 fifths. Cosine of angle B, again, angle B here, cosine is adjacent, that would be 6 over hypotenuse, which is 10, that reduces to 3 fifths. So what do we notice about these angles? Well, the sine of angle A is equal to the cosine of angle B. Let's take a look. So they both equal 3 fifths. And the cosine of angle A is equal to the sine of angle B. All right, so let's try some more problems here. So the acute angles of a right triangle are complementary angles. So it should be an S right here, meaning they equal 90 degrees. Remember, there's 180 degrees in a triangle. Um, so if you have a right angle there, that's 90. And so the two other angles together would have to equal 90 combined. So if the measure of one of the two acute angles is given, the measure of the second acute angle can be found by simply subtracting the given measure from 90. So we want to write the sine of 42 in terms of the cosine. So sine of 42 is equal to the cosine of 90 minus 42. We're just subtracting that angle from 90. And so that would equal 48. So the sine of 42 is equal to the cosine of 48. Write cosine of 36 in terms of sine. So I'm looking at example three now. So we can say that the cosine of 36 is equal to the sine of 90 minus 36. So the cosine of 36 is equal to the sine of 54 because again, we simply just subtract it. All right, I would like for you to pause the video and try these two examples. All right, so let's take a look at this example here. It says find two angles, again, forgetting my S's, find two angles that satisfy uh, the equation. We have the sine of 2x minus 4 is equal to 3x plus the cosine of 3x plus 9. So if the sine of 2x minus 4 is equal to the cosine of 3x plus 9, 
um, we know that their measures have to be complementary. All right. So the sum of their measures is 90 degrees. All right. So we could set up this expression or this equation here. 2x minus 4 is equal to 3x plus 9 because remember these are complements of each other. They are equal to 90. I really don't need these parentheses here, but I just want to show you that we simply come um, these two expressions together will equal 90. So let's just go ahead. We're going to solve uh, this equation for x and then just plug it plug x back in. So combining my like terms, 2x and 3x, 5x, negative 4 plus 9, that is 5. Now I'm left with this basic two-step equation. Adding 5, I'm sorry, subtracting 5. 5x is equal to 85 dividing by 5. So x is 17. So we're just going to substitute um, that x back in. So first we have 2x minus 4. So 2 times 17 minus 4. So that's going to be 34 minus 4. That's 30. And then 3 times 17 plus 9. That gives us 60. And so whatever we get here, it should equal 90. Um, if not, that means we've done something incorrectly. So um, whatever our angle measures are, it should equal 90. So the measures of the two angles are um, 30 and um, 90. Sorry, 30 and 60. Okay, so we've reached the last set um, of our examples here. It says find two angles that sat satisfy the equation. I'm going to do um, number one, and I would like for you to try um, numbers two and three on your own. So again, the sine of 3x plus 2 is equal to the cosine of x plus 44. So we can set these two expressions or combine these expressions rather. 3x plus 2 plus x plus 44. And what does it equal? They're complementary, so it equals 90. I'm just going to solve for x. 3x and x, that is 4x. 2 plus 44, 46. Since I'm running out of space, um, that two-step equation, I subtract 46, I get 44. And divide by 4, so x is equal to 11. So basic two-step equation there. It's not my answer. I have to plug in x. So 3 times 11 plus 2. That is 33 plus 2. So that gives me uh, 35. And we got x plus 44. So that's going to be 11 plus 44. That gives me 55 should be a 5 here. So writing it in terms of sine and cosine, since sine is 3x plus 2, we got 35. Our final answer is the sine of 35 is equal to the cosine. This is our cosine, the x plus 44. So that would be 55. So this is my final answer here. All right, so go ahead and just pause the video and try these last two problems on your own. Okay, so for number two, you should have gotten a cosine of 36 is equal to the sine of 54. And for number three, you should have gotten the sine of 22 is equal to the cosine of of 68. So hopefully you got those correct. If you did not get them correct, um, just pause the video and look at my work here. Uh, but hopefully you got them correct. Okay, so we've reached the end of our lesson. I want to thank you for learning with me. Some related videos are intro to trigonometry um, by finding and you're going to find the trig ratios in that video. And also finding the side lengths of triangles using trigonometry. Um, one not listed here is um, finding the angles using inverse trig. Um, so you can just click on the playlist at the end of this video um, and it'll um, take you to those videos. 
but if you haven't already please like comment share subscribe and click the bell to be notified when i post new content and again i want to thank you for learning with me